My name is Mitch Lowe, and I have been deeply involved in entertainment innovation in the retail area for now, now many, many years. I hate to remember how long that's been. I started out uh, opening video stores back in the 80s and was fascinated by how you merchandise, how you talk about content and how you talk about entertainment that gets people interested in consuming it. Well, over the years, I've been an, a, you know, a fascinated by not only the evolution of entertainment, but by the evolution of, inter, of, of, of invention and all kinds of different innovations, and especially how they affect the world. Who would have thought that 100 years ago, the development of an engine would lead to space travel today. Now we even see uh, tourists going up into space. In the next 10, 20 years, this could eventually even lead to travel interstellar. If you look at the engine and how that has affected the world, there was no way to imagine it 100 years ago. The same with electricity. Electricity has allowed man to control and shape the environment, sometimes to the good, sometimes to the bad. But imagine a world without the ability to have power and light. The world would have been a completely different place. With entertainment, we've seen the evolution from photos, you know, back in the 1860s, uh, you might have seen some Civil War photos all the way to cinema, television. And then when the internet hit, who would have imagined that Netflix streaming would be occupying hours and hours of everybody's week? And in fact, if you think about it, how would we have survived the last two years of quarantines without the ability to, you know, open up your laptop, turn on your smart TV and watch an episode of Stranger Things. Yes, the world has changed a lot. And now when we look forward at what the metaverse will bring us, it's really hard to imagine where this will lead us. In many ways, I liken this to the science fiction movies where people refer to the other dimension. Are we living alongside people in the same space, but people we can't see, a world that we can't touch? Perhaps that's what science fiction writers were thinking about when they thought about this kind of alternate dimension. I am excited about where this future is going to lead. Who knows? Is it a whole new real estate boom? Is it a way for us to communicate more closely and more sensitively? You know, could this be just the extension of phone calls and, and enhance the way conferences and hybrid get togethers take place? This is the genius of mankind to take inventions and ideas like this and turn them into opportunities and innovation that changes people's lives. Who knows where it will be, where this will lead? It is, it is almost mind boggling uh, just to think about it. When, when uh, I remember back uh, when the whole idea of Netflix uh, was created, no way did, did we think we were going to be streaming movies, being a studio, making film and TV series. It was all about mailing DVDs to people's homes. And several things came together at the same time. The internet, which allowed us to communicate with people all over the US and ultimately all over the world and share the merchandise, share the, the synopses and, and the cover art of a title uh, and, and gave you the ability to order them. Over time, 10 years later, Netflix developed the ability to stream film over the internet. But in 1998, when the company first sent its, its first DVDs to people's homes, 
there was no potential for the bandwidth that could deliver content. There was no ability to get the rights from the studios that would allow them to feel comfortable uh, licensing those rights uh, for retail uh, distribution. And look how far it's come. It's come so far that Netflix is one of the biggest studios in the world, creating content that is almost creates diversity between cultures. Mexican novellas are incredibly popular in South Korea. Documentaries made in all parts of the world now can reach and shape the way people understand and think about cultures on different continents. Latin American uh, dramas are, are becoming popular everywhere. So are African documentaries and films. It's just, it's almost, you know, too much to think about what the potentials are. So with the metaverse, which direction will it go? Some people will simply use this as a way to not travel and get together in a more personal way than let's say a phone call or a video call. Some people will use it as a way to create whole new in spaces, buildings, office centers, conference rooms, and, and develop new ways to walk consumers through their store, reposition inventory, uh, just as if you had the ability to send in a sales agent or a merchandiser and make a whole new presentation for each customer coming in. It's incredible to think about. Every time I talk to someone, you hear different versions of what the metaverse could be. It's really up to you. You are the future developer of the metaverse. You are the individuals that through thinking and ideas will come up with whole new ways uh, to incorporate this technology into the future. It's really going to be for the youth of the world to determine how far this goes. This could be way more than we can imagine. Imagine traveling uh, through the metaverse. Imagine buying the things you need through the metaverse. Imagine meeting your friends in the metaverse. No longer are you constrained by a plane ticket or a train ticket or a car. You can, in, you can involve yourself and interact uh, with others. Who knows what's next? Will there be the, the, the ill-fated smell-o-vision that launched in movie theaters back in the 70s? Or will there be the kind of rumbling of your seats and the sensory uh, impacts we've all felt when going to uh, theme parks? It's, a, it's unimaginable to, to really understand it. And this here, this consumer electronics show is a great meeting place for people to discuss the metaverse and to decide what's next. Because what's next is just the first or second step towards a very, very long future. The, uh, the ideas that will come out of this show and future shows and shows all around the world where smart people, innovative people come together will go on and on. And, and I am sure every year create whole new ideas uh, for where the metaverse is going. So it's really up to you to decide, are you just going to take baby steps? Are you going to think 10, 15, 20 years in the future of where this can go and start to work on those projects now? This is all about sharing. This is all about collaborating with other people because that's where great ideas come from. Some of the best ideas in the world have come from those small conversations that in the old days would happen, the kind of classic water cooler conversations in the office. No longer is that the place for collaboration and innovation. The metaverse is where all this will take place. And it's up to all of us to be innovative, thoughtful, and smart, and filled with ideas of where we're going to take it. 
Thank you very much. And we'll see you in the metaverse. Thank you.